Now, I know there's several SEX commies out there that just mostly have guys being involved. But this one, with a chick, and it's J-Law, as in Jennifer Lawrence. As I just got back from seeing No Hard Feelings, now playing in theaters. But is this new raunchy comedy worth giving a little peek at? Or is this just one that's just gonna let you say no hard feelings to if you diss it or what have you? Find out in the spoiler free review right now. Bad days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So, greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Dual, they're known to as the Big D, and this time around, I bring to you a spoiler-free review of the just-now-released sex comedy, No Hard Feelings, released by Columbia, directed by Gene Stepnitsky from a screenplay he co-wrote with John Phillips, starring Jennifer Lawrence, who also produces, as a down-on-her-luck woman, or should I say young woman, who answers a listing to date an introverted 19-year-old played by Andrew Barth Feldman, in order to get him out of his shell prior to college. This also has Laura Benanti, Natalie Morales, and Matthew Broderick. Now, our main character is Maddie, a 32-year-old woman working as an Uber driver and bartender at Mon in Montauk, New York. She's facing bankruptcy after her car is repossessed, trying to to pay property taxes on a home she inherited from her mother. And desperate to avoid this, she accepts an unusual Craigslist posting in which her new employers, a pair of hel helicopter parents, ask to date their 19-year-old son, Percy, in exchange for a Buick Regal. Well, Percy's had no experiences with girls, drinking, parties, or sex. And his parents hope to boost his confidence before he attends Princeton University in the fall. Well, I gotta say, uh, this was really something. Now, I'm not gonna give you the rest of the story. That just the wee bit of the fir first start. But that's it. No more. So anyway, I'm going to say, from what I've seen of the film, I gotta say, this is one... Hell of a raunchy comedy, especially with a chick in the lead role I have ever seen. Believe me, I never thought I would expect to like this, but this time J Law just took the cake in this. Now, while the film's got mixed reviews, it's still a, it's at a, re, a decent 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. They say this raunchy comedy often plays it disappointingly safe, but J Law's comedic and dramatic chops ensure that the end result prompts this film. I agree, but nevertheless, I felt like it was very funny. Now, just a few of it's some of its, um, just a little bit of its jokes and what have you was kind of a bit of a, well, some of them, I can't think of all, a lot of them, but that's just my only little bit of a slight negative I've got with this and what have you. Now, unfortunately, he has faced criticism from several publications for allegedly promoting sexual grooming and what ha and stuff like that. I don't really want to get on the subject, though, so let's not get onto that yet. But anyway... Now, I will say that I thought the story was pretty good. After seeing this, this... This kind of made me feel like it was Risky Business and The Girl Next Door all over again. Those two I have yet to review. I will be planning to review Risky Business since this year is going to be its this year is its anniversary, you know. Now, now Gene Stepnitsky, who was recently a director for well some of the seasons of The Office on NBC, he did a pretty good job with his direction. Music by Mike Aldana and Jessica Rose Weiss wasn't too bad. We got a few good tunes to hear in this. But anyway, now our cast and what have you. Jennifer Lawrence, I have to say, she was just so wow as Maddie. I feel I must warn you, though, there is this one scene that takes place on the beach at night. But I'm not going to give that to you. Mm -mm, no, I'm keeping that hush-hush. 
I just gonna say, find out for yourself, okay? And if you already know about it, congratulations. But anyway, this is probably the wow most maturest kind of role I've seen Miss Lawrence play to date. I mean, I know she's been in some other films that have a little bit of an R-rated type feel to her or something like that. You know, like American Hustle. And, well, I haven't seen all of it. I, I know she was in Silver Lines Playbook. Yeah. So anyway, she's absolutely really good as Maddie. Now, as for Andrew Barth Feldman, he plays Percy. And I will say he's pretty good as well. Now, Matthew Broderick plays his dad, Laird. That's, of course, L-A-I-R-D. <laughs> I gotta say, um, when she hears, when May hears the name, it's really funny and what have you. Let's see. Laura Benanti plays Percy's mom, Allison. And I must say, she's very good as well. Anyway, let's see. Now, um, Benanti's recently been on, seen on Supergirl and The Detour on TBS. Which, of course, fun fact, you may know that way before she even did um, The Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence was actually um, the eldest um, of um, Bill Ingvall and Nancy Travis's ki three kids on The Bill Ingvall Show back in 2007, before she even made it with um, The Hunger Games or even X-Men First Class. All right, enough said. Um, we got several others. Natalie Morales plays Sarah. And Scott MacArthur plays Jim. Yeah, those are, well, some pretty funny characters and what have you. I'll just name off a few. But nevertheless, I really thought this was pretty good. Now, I will forgot to mention about Andrew Bart Feldman. He's recently um, done performances in the musicals of Catch Me If You Can, and Dear Evan Hansen, and he more recently had a guest role on High School Musical, the musical, the series on Disney+. Plus. Now, this has led to him to have a leading role, uh, which is really cool, after he, after he more recently had a supporting role in the film A Tourist's Guide to Love, which came out on Netflix a, a, what, a few months ago. I haven't seen it, but I thought I heard of it somewhere. But anyway, the cast was really good. So anyway, I just think this is just exceptionally crazy, pumped up, raunchy comedy that I could never imagine liking a whole lot. After seeing its two, two, its both of its trailers, I gotta say it's really, really something. It's just some of the jokes didn't catch me much in Miami, but most of them did. Just a few did. So that's just a, a, for a few slight negatives that may take a half a point off from my score. But anyway, No Hard Feelings was very good. And I think you'll really like it if you give it a shot. I thought the direction was good. The screenplay was, the story wasn't, was pretty good. Like I said, it was, Risky Business, and The Girl Next Door all over again. Jennifer Lawrence, absolutely awesome and amazing. Andrew Bart Feldman was good. So were the co-stars. Enough said. You gotta go see No Hard Feelings. It's definitely a very, very fun film where pretty meets awkward. For my score, I'm gonna give No Hard Feelings four and a half stars. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give it a 9.5. So what did you think of No Hard Feelings? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, consider clicking the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a review of Dr. Doolittle from 1998 with Eddie Murphy. So if you like this, consider checking out my reviews for these other sex-type comedies. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the 80s classic Porky's. The upper right-hand corner is my review of the late 90s classic American Pie. Or if you'd like, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see its more recent spin-off film, American Pie Presents Girls Rules. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.